So all in all, that's a pretty good start to the hoard. I'm happy with it. Hey, what is up everybody? Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. We have gone <laughs> from floods to snow. It's there. That intersection's like totally... Wow. It's snowing. It's all melted now, but the last couple days it's been just horrible out <laughs> but I, I know there's worse weather than we have so we're not complaining it's just really cold today but uh, Cassie and I made the decision that for our copper we're definitely going to hoard it up over the winter so we just wanted to show you guys what we currently have now we've had a lot of suggestions in the comments and we thank each and every single one of you for dropping us a comment and leaving us some advice. We're new to this still, so yeah. we're learning, we're still growing, and we're trying our best. And we thank everybody for such the motivation and so much positivity that you're giving us. It really means a lot. And we're definitely going to be investing uh, some money into this. And we actually plan on getting a scale. Yep. That way we can weigh everything before we even bring it to the scrapyard. That's right. That way we never have that incident happen again. <laughs> <laughs> and also uh, with our non ferrous our copper and our brass, we're going to be going to the scrapyard together. Yeah. To do that when we do break our scrap piggy bank. <laughs> and then the other thing that we're probably be going to be getting in about two weeks or so is a wire stripper. Yeah. I'm excited for that one. Because we do have a really big tote right there. I don't know if you guys can see it all sticking out. But that tote right there is filled with stuff ready to be stripped. And then all that BX cable, we decided we are going to strip that. We are going to take the time and just get the copper wire out of it over the winter. That way we, because we do have the time over the winter. There's a lot of downtime. So it'll be spent hoarding our copper and our brass. And stripping it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to pull this stuff out for you guys just to show you guys and give you guys an idea of what we have right now that we've gotten in the last probably about two or three months. And like I said, we're going to hoard it probably until like March or April and hopefully the prices go way up. And yeah, we will keep updating you guys on how much we have and we'll yeah. pull this stuff out. It gives us a chance to reorganize the yeah. storage unit. Um, we have been discussing some more things and we're going to move this and that way it's a little bit more accessible. Yeah. And we're also thinking about maybe expanding and getting a bigger unit. At some point. So we have some things planned. We're going to get this going and bring you guys with us. Great. Yeah. And we forgot to show you guys this. We just picked this stuff up the other day. There's a stroller. This is a big old honking disc. Five CD disc changer, CD player. And then I got a bunch of random e-scrap. That's got a nice little chunk of gold right there. You can see that. And then of course some pop cans and a beer can. Alrighty, we are done. Yeah. And as you can see, we uh, rearranged in there a little bit. So we have some more room over here. That way we can stack it up higher. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, we will show you guys our current hoard. Now, that is all our Bear Bright. We put it into one big tote. So it's pretty heavy. This stuff, they... Uh, just consider copper number one, I guess. It's the small stringy stuff. That is copper number two. Uh, this will be classified as copper number one, I do believe. I like these big copper bolts. These I'm gonna cut and peel the copper off of. This is copper, that's brass. Then we have this whole tote of copper wire to strip. 
we are going to be stripping that BX cable. Then we have clean brass, and this is dirty brass and copper. There's a bunch of different pieces of copper in there that we're going to go through and take out. So all in all, that's a pretty good start to the hoard. I'm happy with it. And next year when it's time to sell all this stuff, I'm hoping we have double or triple what you see right now. And when we get our wire stripper in a couple weeks, we're going to be definitely tackling all this wire because there's a lot there. That's got to weigh at least like 40 or 50 pounds. That probably weighs about 20 pounds or so. But we will also know all these things. Once we get our scale. <laughs> So yeah, we just wanted to come down here and show you guys that that is the decision that we have definitely made on our brass and copper to just hoard it up for as long as we can until the prices get good next year and then sell it all at once. And it will be both of us selling it. Absolutely. <laughs> and then we grabbed some stuff to do some sales. You might have seen these in our videos. That's that one picture. This is a copper plate that obviously we, we don't really want to scrap that it's pretty no, nice Russ had given that to us. so we're gonna either try to sell that or we might keep it because it looks really nice with our stuff maybe and then just a couple other random items we're gonna try to sell yeah and then there's a couple baby items i'm gonna put up on um it's a, a frugal mummy site that's local so it's it's helping out other parents who are struggling financially to be able to supply stuff they need for their kids yeah for so cheap. <laughs> so we put it on there because we sell a lot of stuff for really 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 cheap yeah. that way other people can get use out of it if not donate it to because exactly. there's a lot of sites that we use to donate the stuff that we don't sell and if we can't scrap it and or it still has good use then we do put it to a donation site so somebody else can use it so yeah do you guys one more look at all them goodies and we will also be coming out with another video very soon, probably today. Yeah. Um, we do have some donations to go pick up. So we will show you guys that. And we'll be doing a free find Saturday. We haven't done one in a while, so I'm really excited for it. And I think everybody will really enjoy it. So I hope you stay tuned for that video. And definitely keep pushing your dream. Keep pushing your passion, however, whenever you can. Try to have fun with it, even in the cold. <laughs> and I hope everybody's having a great day. We will see you guys soon. Yeah. Yeah.